Okay, good morning, everyone. Um, I think my camera's rolling. I'm not seeing any feedback, but it shows the ticker has started, so here we go. <laughs> Hopefully you guys are all out there and can see me and hear me. So um, let's just make sure that that's actually the case. Give me one second. Sorry about that, guys. All right. Well, we'll give it a go. Uh, if someone's out there watching, let me know that you can see this video. Oh, there's Don. Okay. Don says, good days, the great house party, and it's going to be at your house. <laughs> Please don't show up to my house for a house party. I'm not fully prepared. <laughs> but um, hi, guys. How's everyone doing? Um, as you can see, I am back in Denver, and um, it feels a little bittersweet, right? There's um, a lot of unrest going on. It's always nice to be with my family, be with my parents, um, get a little love and energy from them. But coming back to, to Denver, um, kind of with a heavy heart. So that's where I sit today. And, um, you know, just trying to trying to navigate all of this like like the rest of you are. And um, I saw this uh, I saw this quote. I think it's actually a section of a larger poem. But I'm just gonna read a chunk of it, um, and I think it's uh, I think it's applicable to what we're all going through right now. So, um, do more than belong, participate. Do more than care, help. Do more than believe, practice. Do more than be fair, be kind. Do more than forgive, forget. Do more than dream, work. And, <clears throat> excuse me, you know, it can be up for a little bit of um, interpretation, but what it means to me is that, um, you know, other than just hoping and wanting and wishing sometimes, which we have to start with that, but then we have to follow up with action, right? And what are we going to do today to put that into action? And sometimes it's, sometimes it's a small thing, right? Sometimes it's just getting out of bed. That's your action. Um, and if that's where you're at today, then be there and and do that, right? <clears throat> if you have the capacity or the opportunity or the ability to go above and beyond something that you normally do um, in a given day or a given week, do that. Take that opportunity. Um, and, and, and yeah, just right now, I think we need um, we need all the love, we need all the positivity, we need the hoping and the wishing, but we need the actions to follow it as well. So um, whatever that looks like in your life, I hope you're doing that. Um, if it's participating in stretches and mindfulness, then let's continue to, uh, to do that as well. And um, you guys do your part, I'll do mine, and let's, let's just keep doing more. So uh, go ahead, let's get to our starting position. Like I said, I hope this is filming. I see the clock running. I don't see a camera coming or a video coming back at me, but who knows? It's a Monday. It's the wonderful world world of technology that sometimes I don't have the patience for. So, <laughs> anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get started, and um, we'll, get, we'll get the week going, right? <clears throat> All right. So let's come to that starting position. All right, Whew. feet are flat, knees are bent, hips are heavy, feel your spine lift up nice and long, allow your shoulders to relax down the back of your body, and then feel the top of your head reach up to the ceiling here, and we'll start as we always do with three deep breaths. I invite you to close your eyes here as we inhale through the nose. Pull the breath in, open mouth, exhale, let the breath go. Inhale through the nose, belly fills, chest expands. Open mouth, let it all go. Last one, deep breath in and a slow breath out. Nice job, you guys. All right, let's go ahead and just get into the stretches. We'll start with our legs here. Lower extremities are straight out in front as best as you can. And then we'll begin by pointing 
and flexing the feet here. All right, so taking the toes away and then back towards the body, away and towards, and just get the body moving, get the energy flowing. Mm, breath is smooth and steady. And as always, if you're unable to see physical motion in the body, that's okay. Um, allow yourself to close the eyes and then see if you can visualize as the body energetically moves. <clears throat> Good. A few more just like that. And then when you're ready, keep those legs straight out in front of you, but bring your toes back in towards your face here. Take a deep breath in as you sit up nice and tall, and then bring your fingers down into the direction of your toes. Good, and they might not get all the way to your feet, that's okay. Maybe you're at your shins or just above your knees. Wherever you're at is perfect. Just continue to breathe into the sensation, breathe into the stretch. And start to notice what you feel on the back side of your legs. Just allowing the calves and the hamstrings to open up here. Mm. Nice job, you guys. Keep that breath moving softly in, softly out. Take another deep breath in. And as you exhale, slowly, slowly, come on back up to seated. Nice job, you guys. Let's take a breath to reset. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Awesome job. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get into our hip adductor stretch. So that's just the muscles on the inner thigh here. And we're gonna draw the knees in opposite directions. You can utilize your hands or your forearms just to add a little extra pressure if that feels okay. Or you can just stick to using the muscles of the legs. Whatever is best for you here. Hmm. And then just ease into it. Come back to the breath. As you inhale, fill the body. Expanding with breath. And as you exhale, sink a little deeper into that stretch. Easing into the muscles, into the tissue. Just softening wherever possible. Nice job, you guys. Take another deep breath in here. And as you exhale, slowly come on back. Draw those knees back towards one another. And let's take a breath to reset. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Awesome job. All right, we're going to go ahead and get into the back sides of our hips here. So from our starting position, feet are flat, lower half of the body is grounding towards the floor. Feel your spine lift up nice and long. Take a deep breath in. And we'll start with the right leg. Draw that knee up into your torso, into your chest here. Good. And then just start to feel into the back side of the hip here. Maybe cross the leg over. Notice what that does to the sensation over here in your glutes, and your hip rotators. Nice job, you guys. As you breathe in, sit up nice and tall, lengthen through the spine. And as you breathe out, squeeze that knee in a little tighter, maybe deepening the stretch. Awesome job, you guys. Take one more deep breath in here. And as you exhale, slowly release, let that leg go. We'll switch sides. Inhale once more, sit up nice and tall. And as you exhale, we're gonna draw the left knee up into the torso, into the chest. Good. Once again, feeling into the back side of the left hip. If it feels okay in your body, maybe cross the hip, cross the leg over. Noticing if that changes sensation, feeling the difference in the muscle pull, just feeling into this moment. Creating space and length with the breath in, and maybe deepening the stretch with the breath out. 
Nice job, you guys. Take another deep breath in here. And as you exhale, slowly release. Let that go. Awesome. Let's take a breath to reset here. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Awesome job. All right, so once again, we'll come back to that starting position. Feet are flat, hips are heavy. Spine is long and lifting up towards the ceiling. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, twist over to the right here. Good, maybe you bring your hands to the side of your leg or to the back of the chair. Perhaps the gaze comes over the right shoulder. Wherever you're at, continue breathing. Create length and space with the breath in, sit up nice and tall. And with the breath out, maybe move a little deeper, twisting into the space created. Breath is smooth and steady, letting go of tension when possible. Deep breath in and exhale slowly come back through center let it go nice job you guys we'll sit switch sides so inhale once more sit up nice and tall and as you exhale twist over to the left once again taking the hand grip of your choice here maybe the hand goes on the right uh, excuse me the left side of the leg here Maybe it grabs a hold of a chair, whatever is comfortable for you. And then once again, create space as you breathe in, sit up nice and tall. And as you breathe out, maybe twist a little deeper, moving into the space created. Perhaps the gaze comes over the left shoulder. Whatever feels good for you in this moment. Another deep breath in, and as you exhale, slowly, slowly, come on back through center. Nice job, you guys. Let's take a breath here to reset. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Awesome job. Um, keeping the legs exactly where they're at, we're now going to stretch into the back body by rounding forward. So bringing your hands down towards your feet here, and then just breathing into the low back, noticing what you feel in the lumbar spine, watching and feeling as the muscles softly stretch away from one another. Good, and if it feels okay, you can continue to round forward, bringing your head maybe down towards the floor, if that feels okay. If there's any compression or restriction of breath, just back off a little bit and then continue to breathe into the low back. Hmm. Nice job, you guys. Releasing the muscles, letting them soften. Take another deep breath in here. And as you exhale, slowly, 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 come on back up towards seated. Awesome. Just allowing yourself a moment to resettle. Let the blood pressure stabilize. Bring the spine back in line. Take a soft breath in and a soft breath out. Awesome job, you guys. All right, now we're going to go ahead and move into the front portion of our body here. So um, starting by sitting up nice and tall and then squeezing the shoulder blades together. And maybe you draw your elbow points in towards one another on the back side of the body. Just notice what it does to your pec muscles and your collarbone. Depending on the height of the chair, you always have an option of taking your spine up and over. Or my chair is a little higher, so I'm going to place my shoulders right into the chair. Allow my arms to open up. Bring the gaze softly up towards the ceiling. And then just notice as the front of the body starts to open and expand. Breathing into the abdominal muscles, neck muscles, all the tissues around the neck and throat. 
Good. Just letting everything stretch open with the breath in. And then soften and relax with the breath out. Breath is smooth and steady. Take another deep breath in. And as you exhale, slowly, slowly, come on back up to seated. Awesome job, you guys. Let's take a breath to reset. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Awesome. All right, let's go ahead and move into our arms here, our upper extremities. So we'll start with flexion of the shoulder, and that's simply just taking this arm bone up and away from the body. So regardless of the range that you're in, you could be here, 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 maybe all the way up overhead. Wherever you're at, you want it to feel like a big stretch. There shouldn't be any pain or any forcing, so just feel into your body where you're at today. So I will guide with fingers in between one another, and that's really just going to help to open up the palm, get a little bit more range and mobility in the hand. Um, if you are unable to get your fingers in between one another, you have the options of either cupping your hands like this, just taking kind of that cupped grip. Um, you can use the strength of one arm to assist the other. And then, of course, you always have the option of just raising one arm. So wherever you're at, again, be there. If it's perfect, then just continue to breathe into sensation. So come back to your starting position. Feet are flat, hips are heavy, spine is long. I'm going to guide with fingers in between one another. Take a deep breath in, and then lift those fingers up, over, maybe in the direction of the ceiling. Depending on where you're at and what you're feeling today. Mm. Nice job, you guys. Keep the breath smooth and steady. Again, releasing any tension or any forcing. There shouldn't be any pain. The side body's long, fingers light. And if it feels good in your body, on the next breath in, maybe reach a little higher, maybe push into that stretch. Breathe into sensation as you reach a little higher, and then as you exhale, slowly, slowly, slowly come on down, releasing those arms back to your sides. Nice job, you guys. Let's take a breath to reset. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Awesome job. All right, I'm going to turn to the side here. <clears throat> And we'll show you the scapular glide. So that's your shoulder blades. If you have a table or a flat surface, I recommend placing your hands right on top. And then you're going to slide the fingers up and away from the body. Now, if you don't have the surface, such as myself, we can pretend. So real or imaginary, our fingers are sliding up and away from the body here. And then what that's doing is moving the shoulder blades up and around the rib cage. So if you need to feel the difference, pull the shoulder blades in towards one another, squeezing towards midline, and then move them away from each other so they wrap around on the opposite sides of the rib cage here. And then just continue taking the fingers up and away from the body, breathing into sensation, relaxing the armpits and the shoulders and the neck, maybe even any tension in the jaw or the fists. <sighs> nice job, you guys. Take another deep breath in, reach those fingertips a little further, and then exhale slowly. Come on back towards seated, release those shoulders down. Awesome job, you guys. All right, I'll go ahead and face you, coming back towards center. And we will get into oh, our um, arm stretches. So feeling into the back of our arms here. So coming back to our starting position, our feet are flat, our hips are heavy, spine is long, sit up nice and tall, take a deep breath in, 
And then we'll start with our right arm, reach it up and across the body here. Fingers reaching away from you. This is option number one. Option number two, you can grab a hold of the other shoulder and maybe just give it a gentle tug. Notice what sensations you feel on the back side of the arms here. And then option number three, you can utilize your free hand here and maybe pull that arm in a little bit closer. Just giving that a gentle squeeze in towards the body. And once again, coming back to the breath. Feeling nice and easy into the stretch. No force, no pain. Hmm. Noticing what feels best in your body. Nice job, you guys. Take another deep breath in here. And as you exhale, slowly release. Let it go. Awesome job. We'll go ahead and switch sides. So sit up nice and tall. And then we'll bring the left arm up and across, fingers reaching away from you, stretching in the opposite direction here. That's option number one. Option number two, grab a hold of the shoulder and just give it a gentle tug here. Maybe notice what it does to the back side of the left arm. And then option number three, you can utilize this hand to give a nice little squeeze here. Good, just pulling that arm in towards the body, giving yourself an easy hug, feeling into the stretch, breathing into sensation. Mm. Nice job, you guys. Take another deep breath in. And as you exhale, slowly release, let it go. Awesome job. Let's take a breath to reset. Exhale out the mouth. Uh, great job, you guys. All right, I think it's uh, time for my favorite part, which is shoulder rolls. So go ahead, bring those shoulders up towards the ears and then back down again, towards the ears and back down. Whatever feels best here, making sure to go backwards and forwards. Awesome job, you guys. Feeling into sensation, feeling into whatever's best in your body. All right, and when you're done with that, come on back towards center. We'll come to our starting position. Legs are heavy, lower half of the body is rooting down towards the floor. Sit up nice and tall. Feel your spine reach up towards the ceiling. Relax the shoulders. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, slowly drop the right ear down to the right shoulder. And then just allow yourself to ease into the stretch, softening any tension, physical or mental. Hmm. Breathing into the muscles on the left side. Watching and feeling as they stretch slowly away from one another. Nice job. Take another deep breath in here. And as you exhale, slowly come on back towards seated. Nice job. We'll switch sides once again. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. Head reaches towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, drop the left ear over to the Allowing the weight of the head to release over towards the left. As you breathe into the muscles on the right side of your neck this time. Watching and feeling. As they begin to soften and gently draw away from one another. breath in here and as you exhale slowly drop the chin down towards the chest and just begin to make small easy circles with the head 
and the neck. Gently rotating, feeling as the stretch moves through all corners of the cervical spine. Be sure to switch directions. Evening out the rotation, continuing to feel, feel into your tissues, feel into the stretch, feel into this moment. Nice job. When you are ready, come on back through center, bring your head back in line with your spine here. And once again, we'll return to that starting position. Lower half of the body is heavy and rooting towards the floor. Spine is long and lifted. Maybe gently pull the low belly in as your shoulders relax. And we'll finish just as we started with three deep breaths. I invite you to close the eyes here as we inhale through the nose. Pull the breath in. Open mouth, exhale, let the breath go. Inhale through the nose, belly fills, chest expands. Open mouth, let it all go. Last one, deep breath in. And a slow breath out. Nice job, you guys. When you're ready, softly open your eyes. Come on back into the space that in hmm. and that ends our stretches for today so thank you so much for joining for that portion um, doing your part doing more uh, i will get set up for mindfulness today so give me uh, just a few seconds This is still going. Don said hello. Vivian is there. Good morning, Miss Vivian. Okay, so I got two people saying hello. So I'm going to assume we're still running live and we're just going to keep going with it. If not, if no one's out there, then I'm just in here doing the meditation by myself and that's okay. <laughs> All right, you guys. So um, I'm going to read the quote again one more time. Um, as I mentioned before, I do think it's part of a longer poem, um, but I liked this portion of it, and I think it is, um, I think it's timely for everything that's going on in the world right now. So um, I'll read it again here. Do more than belong, participate. Do more than care, help. Do more than believe, practice. Do more than be fair, be kind. Do more than forgive, forget. Do more than dream, work. And again, I think to me, to me what it speaks to is um, following up our beliefs and our emotions and all of our cares and concerns with action, right? Um, and so, yeah, what, uh, what actions can we take today? What steps um, can we put forth? And, and what part can we do, right? We, we all have the capacity to probably do, to do more. And so that's all that this reminded me of. Um, so I hope, that, I hope that it inspires you in that same way. Um, I'm always open to feedback. I'm always welcome to um, your thoughts and opinions on it. So feel free to share. Um, okay, so the meditation, uh, my, excuse me, the mindfulness practice today, um, it's a little bit of a combo. Excuse me. So we've done this one in the past. It's the loving kindness meditation. However, I think today and what um, I want to try for this entire week is a loving me kindness meditation um, that we exude out. So I know we've spent a lot of time in several of the weeks focusing on filling up our cups and sending love and kindness to ourselves. And I think that's so important, right? You can't, you can't pour from the empty cup. 
So if you're not in a space to um, give the love or share the love, that's okay. Then continue to send it to yourself and continue to heal yourself. However, if you do have the capacity, if you are able to do more, um, then I invite you to tailor or direct this meditation towards someone or something that might need your love, right? And even if it's something as general as sending this love out into the world for whoever needs it, um, if you have a particular person or a group of people um, or something really in particular, an intention that you wish to um, send a little extra love to, whatever you wish to focus this meditation on, um, I invite you to do that. So that's what we'll do here today. Um, if you've never joined one of our meditations or mindfulness practices, that's okay. Welcome. All you have to do is find a comfortable seat. It could either be in the chair that you did your stretches in, or perhaps it is, uh, perhaps you're lying down as long as that is safe and comfortable. So wherever you're at, just come into that position. Maybe take a soft breath in and a soft breath out. And then just start to ease into it. As always, I will guide you both in and out of this practice. And from here on out, all I ask is that you try to find a little space of relaxation and peaceful intention. In this loving meditation, our intention will be to gather all the energy, all the thoughts that we normally direct towards worry, fear, anger, concern. All the time, the effort and the energy that we spend on some of the negatives, I invite you to gather up all that energy and cultivate it into love. And then send that love out to the world. Send it out to maybe a person or a place or an idea that is in need of a little extra love. So I invite you to close your eyes here if you haven't already. And start to bring your attention to your heart. you can feel it beating inside of you. Maybe you simply have a visualization of what it looks like in its physical form and its energetic form as it beats inside your chest. From this space, Begin to imagine that your heart is filling with energy, filling with love, filling with kindness. And every time you take a breath in, you feed that energy, you feed that love, you feed that kindness. And every time you take a breath out, Pass that love and kindness out into the world. Maybe it's directed towards someone or something. Maybe it's directed towards 
your particular city or our country as a whole, or maybe Mother Earth and her entire being. Cultivate the love with the breath in and share the love with the breath out. disrupts this practice, that's okay. Our minds are meant to think, they're meant to process. So acknowledge that, be thankful for it, and then see if you can come back. Come back to your heart. Come back to the breath. If your eyes have opened, Allow them to soften, bring the gaze back inside, bring all your attention back to your chest, watching with every breath in as you cultivate more love, more kindness, and as you breathe out, share that love, share that kindness. Feed the love with the breath in and share the love with the breath out. Feed the love with the breath in. Share the love with the breath out. Feed the love with the breath in. Share the love with the breath out. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Continue the breath. Nourishing love and kindness within your own self. And then being able to share and spread that love, spread that kindness to those in you. If you wish to repeat a phrase or set an intention, focus on a mantra. If that will help you channel your love, channel your kindness, I invite you to choose a phrase, choose a word. And maybe you direct it towards one person or one place, or maybe you direct it towards an entire, entire group of people. Maybe you just want to share it with the whole world. Maybe the word is peace. Maybe it's love. Maybe it's safety. Feel free to repeat that word, repeat that phrase. May my family live in peace. May my country be safe. May the world be free from pain. family live in peace. May my country be 
be safe. May the world be free from pain. Continue to repeat that word or that phrase. Maybe it's silently, maybe it's out loud. Give yourself the time and the space to channel the love, channel the kindness that you've cultivated within yourself. And allow it to spread outward out to the environment, out to your surroundings, out to your community, feeding the love and kindness within you and spreading the love and kindness outside of you. May my family live in peace. May my country be safe. May the world be free from pain. within you, breathing out, sharing that love and kindness outside of you, feeding the love on the breath in, sharing the love on the breath out, feeding the kindness on the breath in, feeding the kindness on the breath out. Feeding the love on the breath in, sharing the love on the breath out, feeding the kindness on the breath in, sharing the kindness on the breath out. Continuing to breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Your mind has wandered. All your thoughts have been disrupted. That's okay. You can always start again. With every breath, we have another chance. Another chance to cultivate love and kindness within us. And share that love and kindness outside of us. Breathe more. 
love more, share more. family live in peace. May my country be safe. May the world be free from pain. As you breathe in, feed your heart, cultivate loving kindness. And as you breathe out, share that love, share that kindness. the love within and share the love outside. Be the love within and share the love outside. coming into the final few moments of this practice. You'll hear a final bell indicating that the time is up. And until then, simply continue to breathe, focusing on your heart, feeding the love and kindness lives within you with every breath in and sharing it to those in need with every breath out. Feeding the love with the breath in, sharing the love with the breath out. Feeding the love with the breath in, Sharing the love with the breath out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out.
Take a soft breath in. And a soft breath out. Allow yourself to let go of any focus or mantra or intention. And just feel into this space. Feel into your body. Feel into this moment. stay here and continue breathing and continue sharing the love by all means please do so otherwise as you're ready when you're ready softly blink the eyes open come on back into the space that you're in so much for continuing to show up and be present and do the work, participate, practice, be kind, all the things, all the things that we can do, keep doing them. I appreciate the ability to connect and to continue to, and to, continue to share this practice with you guys. So, Thank you, thank you so, so much. Um, we'll be back here again tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. Continue to take care of yourselves. Please, please take care of each other. And um, do what you can. If you can, do more. Thank you, guys. Have a good one.